The stock model fixer script for Autodesk 3D Max is an indispensable assistant when working with models and objects in a scene. The script is very useful, especially in cases where you merge models into your scene from 3D stocks or third-party resources. Often there are models with flipped polygons, incorrect normals, incorrect transformation, errors, and this list is huge. All this ultimately affects the quality of the scene assembly, which can cause viewport to slow down, render problems and other unpleasant moments. Stock Model Fixer is a formula that has been proven over the years, tested by a huge number of users. I'll show you how to use the script once you've downloaded the model from 3D Stock, and at the end of the video, I'll show you what problems there are with models and why it's important to process each model. So I have two versions of 3D Max open, one with the project, the other for processing models. Open the model and launch Stock Model Fixer. First of all, we apply the settings from the File tab. This will help fix some minor problems and relink all the textures of the model. On the Next Tools tab, there are many useful options. Let's ungroup the model to make it easier to work with. I immediately notice that there are some black polygons on the back of the monitor. Let's try to apply Normals Reset. Great, that helped. Looks much better now. We find objects with the Mesh Smooth modifier. It is advisable to have a collapsed modifier stack. Therefore, we will see what needs to be done with such objects. Be sure to apply everything from Geometry Fix. This will correct the problematic geometry. We combine objects because the fewer objects, the better the viewport works. Don't forget to set the correct pivot. Then, if desired, you can rename all objects, textures, and materials of the model. Write the model name and click Rename. On the Check tab, you can enable display in the form of clay. This will reveal flipped polygons. The last step, Textures, can transfer all the textures of the model to our project. And using Copy To and Paste From, we will transfer the model to our project in another 3D Max window. This is what the workflow typically looks like for downloaded models. Here are some examples of problematic models and how Stock Model Fixer helps. This model uses modifiers, which is why after Reset X form, the model falls apart. After geometry fix, everything is fine with the model. Another example shows when, during the collapse of an object, hanging unconnected vertices appear. Let's find all mesh smooth modifiers remove them and replace them with our own. Here you go. And the last very interesting example. When the model is ungrouped, it simply explodes and scatters across the scene. To avoid this, you need to apply the options from Geometry Fix. In most cases, Geometry Fix solves problems and I use these options for every model 
and they also recommend that you do this. The script helps in different situations, problems with broken geometry, not visible vertices, and other things that lead to 3D Max crashes, not reset model transformation and scale, uncollapsed stack modifiers can cause various errors, missing smooth groups in the model and inability to assign them, problems with shading models, flips and black polygons, an ungrouped model with a large number of small objects which can cause viewport to slow down, non-isolated vertices in the model, poorly named objects and textures, and much more.